if you look at the steps to conduct a work sampling study, okay, again, I'm, many of these terms are now familiar to you. I have a tour based approach, I have the crew based approach. In the tour based approach, I have the random or the periodic. In the crew based, I have random, periodic or continuous. Like I said, continuous is only for illustration in this case. We have to plan the approach. There are many, many uh, these. There are many aspects to look at when you plan the approach. We have to characterize the workforce. We would like to notify the workers. Okay, I'll come back to this. You have to define activity categories of the work, the time frame. You know, like we said, how many observers are there? The route of the observers. You know, do an orientation for the observers. Design data collection sheets. There are several things which we have to do, which is why we are calling it a formalized technique. It's not that I simply go through and do it. And today we are we have an app on work sampling. You can go to a site with a cell phone and do this categorization where a lot of the report generation, everything becomes automated. Okay, now once you plan the approach, you collect the data, you do the analysis, and then you have to have uh, discussions on you know looking at you know where is the value added, why you know maximize value added, minimize, eliminate, all of these things have to be. Are discussed as a part of the results. Okay, and based on this, you go back and do collection of data again. Now, when you look at work sampling outcome, like we discussed, you can have non value added and non value added but necessary, and this indicates waste. So, for example, here is a example of a work sample output. Okay, what, what do you think? What do you think of this outcome? The value added is very less. Yes. Yeah, value added seems to be very, very little. Okay, non value added is very high. Non value added necessary also is high. So, there is something I would be wondering about this. Okay. And if I go into so, so from, a, from a very broad perspective, I see my value added proportion is not good. This itself is an impact. Okay, so I cannot go around saying my site is doing okay. There is something in my site I might need to look further. It brings about an awareness first of all to the team that look, my gosh, I'm only getting 18% of what you call value added or direct work on my website. Now, you go one level deeper, you find that most of this non value added is because of standing idle or sitting idle. Okay, so my workers are half the time standing idle on the site. Now, why are they standing idle? If you ask the question, you have to ask yourself the question. So, you can go to more where attention needs to be focused. Are they standing idle because of materials? Okay, there are a lot of things, you know, tools, work phase, lack of instructions. There are many things that contribute towards why somebody might be idle. Okay, and unless you address those, and a lot of times this goes back to micro planning. Your micro plan or coordination. There is no coordination between crew, there is no micro planning, there is a lot of issues are there. And when you go to this level, you are at the lean level. Okay, it's not a, it's, you know, you have to have coordination between crews. You have to have a proper look ahead plan. You have to have a proper way of understanding what your constraints are. So, when you bring in something, now this tells you, look, I need something more to be able to address these issues. Work sampling does not solve the issues. It only brings it up to a stage where you can now see things from a different perspective. Now, let us say you had you had done a productivity measurement system on the same data, what would you get? What would you get? You will get low productivity. Benchmark productivity is this, the productivity is low. That is all you will get. Why is the productivity low? Lots of wastage. How do we know? Through the sampling. No sampling, no productivity measurement system is only productivity measurement. It says number of man hours, output and you get your productivity output and you do not know whether it is they are standing idle, sitting idle, this, that. There is no feel of what is happening on site. It is only a report. Here there is a feel. So, you can understand it is not. So, now does this give you productivity directly? Work sampling? No. 
you need productivity also but you also need the feel of why the productivity is low that's why these can be used in combination